in today's video, it's basically like last video, except for this is with a VR headset instead of a console. And the game that I'll be playing on the headset is called Gorilla Tag. You're basically a gorilla or a monkey, whatever you want to call it. So you you basically are a gorilla without legs. So you just have arms to walk around in. And there's like five or sixteen maps that you can play in. And I'll be going around showing you each map if you're new to Gorilla Tag or wanting to play Gorilla Tag but you don't have a VR headset. So that's basically all you need to know for this video. And I'll see you well in the video. So see ya. So this is basically Gorilla Tag. It's basically with all uh, electronics it has VR it's a VR headset with two controllers and um, you just walk around with your hands because you don't have feet controllers that would be weird and um, uh, you basically you basically so this is basically gorilla tag but um, it's in my part of you in the oculus and um, I might hit something, so don't judge me on how well I do with these monkeys. Cowabunga. Not connected. Okay. Now jump, Cowabunga. Are you freaking kidding me? You better do it. Okay, I'll just show you all this stuff Gorilla Tag has. So this is Forest. The most thing about it is, um, this is the first map that they came out with, I think. And then they started to make other maps like City and Canyons. Well, this is forest, so I'll go to the one in forest. But this is forest. I know how to tree run thing and wall run. So you just go into this cave thing. Then what's waiting for you is a whole bunch of water. And this is this is the map that only had water for the first time. And the volume of my walking and other stuff might be loud. So, like this. This is, well, I call this map, um, pirate map, or, ow. Well, at least, has water. This is the fun part. And there's a whole bunch of wires around me, so don't do not judge how well I do. Frick. Okay. So that's the pirate map. And this is, um, ah, I did something wrong. Okay, so this, this, this is, um, this is the way to get into it. So it's really hard. That's the longest map that, um, had an entrance. So I showed you Forest and Pirate Island or something. And this, this is Caves. As you can easily tell from the name, it is basically a huge cave with water. And this is the second map with water. Oh, and uh, there's a bat somewhere in here that you can grab. But I don't know where he is. 
he randomly spawns anywhere. So, I want to play one match, but for now I'm showing you all the maps that is in Grill Tech. Yeah, that map was really loud. Okay. And um, this, this is cities. This is cities map. You can, this is where you can buy anything. And um, this is where you buy the stuff for this stuff. Like this one. This, this is my favorite item because in the real game I don't have a voice. And this might be slow. And this is what my avatar looks. Don't copy my avatar. And then, um, this, this is like the flashbacks and everything. And this, this is, um, usually what the whole season's about. And this sucks. Okay, so, um, I showed you that. I want to show you the two secrets, which is this, this place. And that there is one item that I can't buy because I don't have enough money, but it's, it doesn't, it's kind of cool on your face, but it like distracts you, like, you can see the golden stuff on the top of your head. And this is the thing that you can get competitive with a whole bunch of good people, and but yeah, like, like, like and subscribe, please. That would always help me. And this video took about like five hours or so. This is this is mountains. Uh, this is not the funnest, but the the most like difficultest map. And you can throw snowballs. And there's computers for mostly each one. And here's another one. This is basements. And it's G team say E T, that's funny. This is a maze that you have to go through with these guys who basically kill you, but um they like teleport you down to somewhere. See, that's a big land, so you get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then you get smaller, 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 smaller. It's kind of trippy, but you have to complete the whole maze like this. So, if you find one of these people, if I can find them, uh, you basically go down to the floor and there's one thing that will um that you can buy yeah it's over here if you see this chest you can actually open it by touching it and this guy is really cool but I'm not gonna show you it I'm gonna show you in a future video so if you're interested I'm gonna like make it out tomorrow or whenever I can even get time to publish anything and um oh I forgot about this so this this is um well this is clouds map as you can see oh it's called launch and there used to be a rocket ship there that flew off and then it goes all the rocket ship goes over here but it never goes over here Oh, wait, I went the wrong way. Okay, so, um, it goes up here, and then, what time is it? It's almost night time. So, it's supposed to go up here, but you don't see it. And then there's, like, wind currents. That's the first time they added wind currents. 